Hey guys, time for some Q&A. We're at the burger joint. This could be the last, uh, well, at least for several months, this will be the last burger q and I'm doing. This will be the last beef I eat <laughs> for a long time. I'm going to India in three days. Today is uh, gosh, so hard for me to read, man. Thursday the 17th, I'm leaving Sunday the 20th, so three days I'll be in India. No beef, man, no beef. I've been uh, eating a lot less meat lately anyway. I don't know why, but uh, anyway, yeah, man, last burger till July. I might have some more when I come back. We'll see. First question. This is Leisure 057 blank. Where is the coconut milk in the first one? He's talking about the coconut video. Well, so there's a few different things with the coconuts. When you just uh, open them, you drink the coconut water. That's just the electrolyte rich fluid inside. Very healthy, very good for you. They've even used, from what I understand, uh, coconuts when they have trouble finding sterile water for RVs, RVs, for IVs during like wartime in tropical countries, they'll use coconut water. So it's very interesting. It's very good for you. That's the water. Then there's the milk. But as far as I know, the milk is just taking the water and then blending it up with the meat that's also inside. So after you drink the fluid, the coconut water, you can chop it in half, you can open it up. You don't even have to really necessarily chop it in half. If you have a big enough hole in the top, you can just reach in with a spoon. But you can just scoop it out, man. Those young coconuts like you saw, those yellow ones, those are probably just a few months old. And that, it's almost like jelly. It's a very, like, uh, well, jelly-like texture. And it's very, like, soupy. You can just kind of scrape it right out very easily. Um, the more they mature, the firmer it gets. And then on that green coconut you saw me eating, that was, like, at least a quarter-inch thick, that meat I was eating out of there. It's very... Uh, it's hard to get out at that point, but it's uh, very delicious. It's a little sweeter, it's quite starchy, and in a mature coconut like that, that green one's probably closer to a year old. At least six months, probably closer to a year. And that's pretty filling to sit there and just drink the coconut water and then eat all that meat out of that really mature coconut. It's a lot of food. So he was asking about the milk. You wouldn't actually open a coconut and get milk. I think you'd have to blend the meat along with the water to come up with that. Chris 580. Well, how do you get around these places without knowing the local, uh, without knowing the native languages? Uh, all right, it's over time. Thank you. What the? Can get your food. So you just heard that. There was an exchange in English. English is the universal language. What's funny is, I've been in other countries and heard two people, neither of whom speak the same language, use English as their default language. In other words, it might be, uh, it could be a German person and a Malaysian person. The Malaysian person doesn't know German and the German person doesn't know Malaysian. I keep saying Malaysian, I mean Malay. And, uh, well, they both know enough English to be able to communicate that way. I've heard that happen. Um, there's also some words, some English words that are kind of universal in other languages that people say. It's really interesting to hear this happen. So I've heard people both in Thailand and Malaysia answer their phone and just say hello. Even when they're speaking to another person, uh, another Malaysian person, so they would typically be speaking Malay. They'll go on with their conversation in Malay, but they'll say hello in English or hi. Um, another one is okay. Okay, very universal. Everybody understands it. You'll hear people say it. I've heard Thai people say okay to each other. I've heard people in Malaysia say okay to each other. Really, there's three words you need to know. First of all, it's good to greet people in their native language, which here, Assalamu Alaikum, Thailand, Sawadikap, uh, in India, I'll be saying Namaskar, or Namaste, or Ram Ram is hello. So there's all kinds of uh, ways to greet people in different languages. It's easy to learn when you go places. You can hear the way people address each other. You can pick up the pronunciation that way, look them up. Uh, 
But really beyond that, there's three words you need to get around. Toilet, food, and water. Food's really easy. You can just kind of indicate. And people understand, like, no, no, no. He's wanting food or water. Very easy. Toilet. Toilet's a word you got to probably learn. It's good to uh, learn in different languages. Here in, uh, here in Malaysia, it's tandas, is toilets. I think uh, in Hindi, I think water is tani. And it's probably a similar word. I think tanda and tani. It's usually like the word toilet will be derived from water. Now all that said, most places you go are still going to understand. If you go to a restaurant that's used to having Westerners go there, they'll understand what you mean when you just say toilet in English. Uh, I don't know the word food in Malaysian, but I don't know how to say different, a lot of different uh, types of food. Like ayam is chicken. I already went through this in another video. I'm basically repeating it. Uh, ayam is chicken or nazi is rice. So on and so forth. It really doesn't take much to get around. Especially in these countries they're used to a lot of westerns visiting. Next one is from King Genius. He's saying with the toilet paper instead of paper towels work okay. Uh, in the application of using it for your face, like in a restroom. Uh, it's okay, I mean, it basically disintegrates. In all honesty, I don't even use it. Typically after uh, Malaysian people eat, if they're eating with their hands, you'll see them when they're washing their hands in the sink, there'll always be a sink. Over right here, you see instead of a sink, they've got this water thing. That ain't for drinking water, that's for the hands. They also wash, wash dishes there, so... Um, I'll wash my hands right there after I eat this. And you'll see them like wipe their mouth with the water to clean their mouth. Which it feels like I need right now. <laughs> I'll show you inside some restrooms so you see, uh, I'm not just making this stuff up about toilet paper, man. <laughs> it's really a thing. Now, if you go to restaurants, like, in the touristy part of town, like, if I go to the fancy places down by the beach that are more expensive, that really cater to tourists, there'll be toilet paper. But I'll go in the toilet right here and show you. And I'll show you, I took a clip for this purpose at the, uh, at that other place I go to, the Indian Buffet. I'll show you that too. Hello. So you heard me greet two people in English. Uh, my word with my kind of personal way I do it with greeting people is unless I know they're Muslim, I don't say uh, Assalamu Alaikum. Like uh, women wearing a hijab or men, I'm not sure what the man's hat is called. It's very much, it's kind of shaped like a drum. 
and it's like a woven fabric material. It's usually white, sometimes it's black. Um, that's what the Muslim men wear. So when they're wearing that, or when I kind of can tell that they're Muslim, I'll use it. But I don't know what the, I think it's a better default. If you're not sure what the rule is and you don't want to offend anybody, just kind of say hello. People generally know it. It's funny because I'll pass people here and they'll tell me hello and I'll tell them assalamu alaikum. So I don't even know if I'm really pronouncing it right. Some people say malaykum. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to dig into this other burger. That's all the questions anyway. i got to put that thing right here with the toilets. Now you may be thinking, well, they got to put toilet paper out for the Westerners. Not necessarily. Some places do. You can see here, two receptacles, zero toilet paper. They do put napkins back there for people. I think it's really mainly to dry off after you use what everyone uses here. The bunga. And another restroom, and another favorite restaurant of mine. You can see this, no Western toilet. Nothing, no paper, nothing, no. Toilet paper, napkins, nothing, nothing. That's it. That's all you're gonna get. I hope you enjoyed that little holiday clip there. If you like these videos, guys, please thumbs up, share, please subscribe, guys. I want to get this to a thousand. I want to spread some money around India, donating it. Please ring that bell to see when I upload new content, and I will see you next time, YouTube.